Welcome to Off Frame, Off Frame Games. My name is Chris, and we just finished Techno Babylon. Now, personally, I do love myself some uh, cyberpunk, dystopian future, hive mind, etc., etc., etc. But there is also times when, well, too much of a good thing will will give you a uh, will give you a headache. So, as I was looking for other games, a lot of my games were cyberpunky, were had robots, had had uh, future tech, had large overarching themes of AI beyond control. Anyways, point being, I thought maybe let's go something a little bit different. So, I decided upon Oxenfree. I know very little about Oxenfree. I was recommended by a friend in the uh, Game Dev Network, and they have said it is a fun game. So, we shall see. I am going to, again, as with all games, I'm going into this blind, so if you know of anything about this game, please, no spoilers. I prefer to have my games spoil free up until the point where I actually look online because I'm stuck on a puzzle. <laughs> I will add subtitles. Yes, yes, I shall. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? No, I'm I'm not. You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Oh, hmm. Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Do you read me? I see yeah, what Jonas, you're what you're seeing right now is what I like to call a trip. This blank stare thing Alex will do sometimes. Oh, okay. You might okay. think something's wrong, but there isn't. She's just rebooting. Okay, noted. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. Okay, okay. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. So, and you guys first just met off. tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so. And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? Step brother? I step brother. <laughs> oh yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So you're in luck. Okay, okay. So. How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. Okay, okay. So, check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. There are going to be moments of, uh... Uh, there so gonna be moments, moments where it doesn't look like I'll be able to play. talk too much. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their yeah, way. let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, I think but so. I mean, my sign's cancer, and... It's not like my hair is falling out or anything. Here's good. Okay. Come on, Alex, join the fun. It's gonna give me. I'm gonna. 
I'm going to go ahead and pause this just for a moment. I do believe, well, as a general opening, one, I like it. Two, uh, I am limited in my time. Uh, the first one, I, the first thing noticed, it gave me a chance to speak, and I didn't because I was still confused about what was going on. And as much as I do love this guy... Okay, I don't really like the guy. I um, don't really like the guy for the sake of the, le the Let's Play. Only because I don't feel like talking over him. I will let him talk. But at times in this game where if I feel that there are moments when he just will not shut up. And I need to say something. I will stop the, I will stop the game, make a few comments, and then we'll continue on. I will try not to, uh, to talk over. We will try to con uh, go in as, again, as blind as possible. And for the most part, my let's play for this or this can be fairly laid back. I'm going to be picking the choices that I deem appropriate, and we'll go from there. As with always, hope you enjoy, my hope you enjoy and let's just go on. All right, so... We uh, yeah. need a girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. Okay. So when things when things appear, I do have to still click there, with my mouse. Great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Like he is hey, sociable. Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. It's somewhere. perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Okay. I need you to... It's, uh, to the left of the dial? 88.3. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, so... I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh... Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Red-headed be bedwetters. <laughs> That's awesome. Baby carrots. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. That is, well, I gotta admit, that is a bad name. That's um. We must be getting close. There's no the radio reception on I can say, really. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. So again, I don't know how long we're gonna be around this guy, but we are gonna be uh, we'd be hanging around with him. And don't get me wrong, he's cool, he's sociable. But for, I guess for my general style, of let's play. I'm not, I'm not used to being to talking over to somebody and to have somebody that, well, is talking for me. I mean, between Regis, Jill, and smell that clean air, boys and girls. What's his name on Reno and Memories? Kind of get a little this weird city there. City <laughs> yeah. Um. Anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... That's kind of... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. No, it's... it's... It's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. True. Thanks, man. What? So we have... I'll just be up we have a note. in case... Whatever. <laughs> okay. Now... Ren seems nice. He is, He's fun. but... You know? 
Yeah. He reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. Hmm. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. Okay. So, again, uh, completely going in blind. I have no idea quite how exactly when I will be able to take moments of reprieve and talk about something. So, one thing I've already noticed. Um, first off, voice acting. Amazing. Just, I love it. Second off, Rin, cool talks a bit too much but that's that's a character that's his character played well generally i'm not a fan but three um it seems that the choices i have already made have kind of altered pieces of dialogue i i would i would have to look into it but there is a there is a high probability that it actually is generally affecting the things that i do and things that are said to me um Provided I'm going to go into this as if I were, you know, in this situation. And in my situation, it's like, hey, I got a new family. It's like, uh, what the fuck it? I mean, are you a horrible person? Are you a cool person? Oh, you smoke? Nah, man, I'm cool. I don't. But I honestly don't care. Just take it like three steps outside. So, yeah, we're we're into this situation. And... Yeah, that's, um, we'll figure it out as we go. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> and yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Mike. Who the, who the fuck is Mike? Um, are you in jail? I heard you're mad. It's nice at night. Isn't it? <laughs> let's um. Yeah. Let's. Oh wait. Let's just can wait like five catch seconds. Catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Let's just like wait like a few moments before we actually start going into the uh. Hey, your mom's dead. Hey. Stuff and things. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Oh, that poor lonely, lonely car. Okay, so when I come up across these, if I press uh, spacebar, I can actually interact with them. Some of them are oh, not. I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Looks oh, like a whale the, on a bird. The, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. Okay, so... I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by Japanese... <laughs> yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the 70s, but it was like literally Marines fighting Satan or dinosaurs or something. <laughs> I want those comics. Okay, so... At this part, we we kind of figure out how the this little mechanic works. Um, so one shift with click brings it up. Um, I'm gonna just and then a good thing I can actually use my mouse pointer or my uh, rolly mouse to um to change that. Interacting with this. Parks and facilities office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um. All right. Yeah. That's. I mean. Sure, sure, I'll like a girl who's tall. Not generally the first thing I, I think about when... You know what, actually, I lied. That is actually the first thing I think about if when I meet a person. Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Uh, true. Hello, true. kids. God well, damn it, Rin. guys and girls must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. 
We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Really? That's kind of gross. Yeah, sex is gross. So disgusting. Man, get a room, you soldiers. Come on, so, Rand, you know summarize. you're not thinking that. We are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front, the mouth, the mouth of this particular cave. You can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. It's um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'd get bored with the same scenery. The same parrot screaming at me. Well, of course you'd get bored. You're bored here. Jonas. Did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. I'm doing it because fuck you all. Okay, so there's been one thing that I've noticed that I can't quite place my finger on just yet. So when I do say things, uh, there are moments where my face is above their head in a thought bubble. If I were to extrapolate and possibly guess, it, I would have to say that maybe, just maybe, it is almost like a... um. Uh, and this is totally not the right word for this type of game. It's almost like an affection meter or like friendship meter um, that might be invisible to us as players and me just going, uh, but more along the lines of that's how they're showing. I'm showing empathy, I guess. But yeah, no. So fuck you, Mark. And uh, apparently he, he totally hit it out with this girl, even though it was over the pants stuff. And I guess that does bring up a second question, second thing to note. Um, I will not shy away from doing adult commentary and adult things, and I currently am still a small YouTuber, so monetization is not an issue right now. But that being said, even if monetization was an issue, I will let you know if things get too risque. But I doubt it. Very, very doubt it. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. Ren, why do you even care about this? Come on, man, oh, you know I you love know, maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go? That's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I'd miss you too, okay? The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but... Okay. Okay, so there's there's two girls, possibly where we're heading next. And that is brought up with the control. I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look. There must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. That's a thing? I mean, I'm just doing it because there was a circle there, so... Sure. What are we doing? Oh, right, we're going out of the, over the fence. I mean, sure. Let's go to the cliffs. So, it's an adorable little game, to say the least. Nice animations. And to my, not to my, to my knowledge, the, the, uh... Audio itself isn't overlapping each other, which can happen sometimes in games if I accidentally press the button too fast. Which I do all the damn time. 
Uh, oh, let's go down. Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, mm. Nona. Okay. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j- just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal. Ren, relax. Yeah, then. I don't oh, care about okay. you. Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Okay, so the controls seem fairly, fairly hey. intuitive. We started forward. a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's. Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother. Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. Okay, so... <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Okay, so there are moments... Okay, so I finally figured it out. Um, As things interact, possibly with all the characters, possibly with stuff, they're, the images they're showing are that person thinking about the that person. And if you imagine as a group of friends, I'm going to hazard a large, far-fetched guess and say that the guy that, the, sorry, the guy, that the girl that Rin is after is going to be into Jonas. I don't know. It's what I do. Also, because on the tagline, it says, it reminds you of every, uh, of the best 80 movies out there. And, well, if I was a movie in the 80s, that's exactly what I do. Sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh, My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. You know? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Totally Wait, begged, didn't aren't you? aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I accept your apology. Thanks. You see, Jonas... Normally, this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go on their... Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Yay. Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! So, okay... So, this is exactly like a movie from the 80s, a teen movie from the 80s. We have the, we'll start with, we'll start from left to right, and you, since you should see, you should be able to see my mouse pointer on the screen. We have Jonas, the cool, almost aloof, um, uh, I guess we'll say bad boy of the group, um, who, pro- who probably turns out to have a heart of gold and is not quite as bad, but had a hard time growing up. We have the overabundance, kind of nerdy kind of dude who just is, is kind of the, who is kind of the main protagonist in most sense of the thing. If you think, uh, The Breakfast Club, he is that nerdy dude that kind, the story kind of revolves around him, but it's not at all about him. Because it's about me, who is technically a blank slate, and if if you know me, well, this is should be hilarious, and should well, I might get her killed. I'm gonna try not to, but she might die. Then we have the u- the Uber bitch. Uh, sorry, I misspoke. The Uber bitch, and well, no one likes her, but she may turn out to 
She'll still be a douchebag, but we'll kind of save her eventually. And then Nona, the kind of kind of quiet, kind of shy um, girl who will probably be the love interest of everybody. And the romantic subplots will tend to revolve around her, which they already do. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, again, all of this is hazard and guesses. We shall can do just a one, a little bit more, and then we shall end it for today. It might be a slow start. It might be a something a little bit different. But if if it it seems entertaining and it seems fun, and if Rin would shut the fuck up, I would be able to talk more. But for now, you guys will just be able to enjoy Rin, and then I'll talk. If I can kill Rin, we'll think about killing him. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? I should pick up the truck. Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. Boink. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime, in her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Is it what? Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah. Uh, how, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first, we're gonna- I'll start. Right. Oh, you son uh -huh. of a bitch. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, 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 I wanna hear his answer. Uh... Okay, that's- <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just face it. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Let's ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Clarissa? Okay, I have a rock right, right here. Right, he gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> uh oh. All right. Oh please, shoot! I can take it. Okay, Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny. I don't know. Uh, and I'd, Jonas I'd, is Well, I'd now, marry Nona. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered. I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, you're going down the line. Who do you do the dirty with? Uh, Earth to Alex. Damn it, let me answer the damn this thing. This is mission control. You read me? Hey, honey, if you don't answer, that's a forfeit, and a forfeit's the same as a lie. Which means the penalty's the same. Yeah, you just give me the fucking second. All right, fine, fine fuck it. Fine, whatever, I forfeit. You want to smack me, be my guest. Okay, well, march over here like a good girl so I can. All right, you bitch. Do it. Come on, Alex. It's time for your medicine. Oh. Yikes. Ugh, a little hard, don't you think? <laughs> Ow. See? We're slap sisters now. All in good fun. Yeah. Uh, good fun. Yeah, really? Clarissa was just a dick. So, Alex's turn? Yep. Lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Okay, so I will possibly... I actually meant to... I was torn. I was basically gonna say I'd probably sleep with uh, sleep with Clarissa, but then I'd have to kill Rin. And really, I'm not interested in either of them. So I both wanted to let that go, but I also I also think that I wasn't paying attention. So uh, fuck it, just let the slap happen. Clarissa's already a she's already the uber bitch. So uh, fuck it, just get it over with. Again, there is a possibility that shit's gonna go down. And if shit goes down and she's left, well, then there would be one down. Oh, great. Here we go. Uh, What's your favorite stuffed animal? 
Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man. Marissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, if someone were to ask you to describe me, what would you say? Wow. I'm really swinging for the fences here. I Come on, told him you were an average girl with common thoughts. Jeez. Why don't you say what you really think? Actually, wow. I don't know what I was expecting, so... Okay? Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm I mean, sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Okay. Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine. Is there, like, a question coming or what? Yeah, I'm on, just Clarissa. saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. All right. And Okay. Okay. We're going to let it play out. But I do just want to say a big two-finger fuck you to Clarissa. Because first off, statistics, statistics. Anyways, but, well, if you get the divorce, well... situations and in we have actually didn't ask but we were we saw that his mom might have been dead so it's less a divorce and more of a widow so that being said fuck you clarissa let's resume and the fact is your mom divorced your dad so let's put his mind at ease and hear why I okay just get to whatever point this is getting to come the on. point is why did your parents get a divorce? <clears throat> because just they so hate Jonas you, Clarissa. Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex... You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should let- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we- What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt, or playing Ring Around the Rosie, happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. And well, I with that, we are actually gonna go ahead and stop it. So, I, I, I like it. It's, the first thing is, the first part of a game is always a bit verbose, is a bit, um, Long-winded, but at the same time, at the same time, we have a very clearly defined set of our characters, which is harder to do than you may think. Uh, I first off, I can already tell that these characters are going to be around for a long time. So, getting this out in the open is good. Jonas is again; he's an outsider. He's the observer. He have, as of right now, we uh, he's like oh, okay. Clarissa hates. something i'm gonna be say it's gonna be me and she's got a vendetta she's got a vendetta and ultimately as much barbs as she has she's not beyond redemption yet <laughs> but as with everything i give any i give everybody one chance and well clarissa Stop being a dick, and you might actually get a chance. Nona, uh, however, uh, Nona, on the other hand, is just trying to keep the peace. She was invited by Rin. She probably knows that Rin kind of likes her, and then Rin is obviously the stereotypical kind of um, friend everybody, but might not be so popular. Still, it's interesting. I got my drink. I will probably drown Clarissa later and I shall see you on the next episode of Oxen Free. If you enjoy the content leave a like. If you enjoy the anything if you have a, something to mention down below do it but again I will be trying to avoid spoilers this game might be a bit harder to find and a bit might um, and everything but at the same time 
there have been be- there will definitely have to be people who have played it, and if they you stumble across this, please just know that I'm going into this blind. Uh, I prefer not to uh, know anything. And last but not least, if you li- if you hit the s- hit if you hit that subscribe button, I will be here tomorrow and the day after, and probably later on in the, the day. I upload a lot, and well, if nothing else, I will be- I will be back tomorrow. I hope you enjoy your night. I hope you enjoy your day, and of course. Later.